Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to contribute to the motion and to speak in support of the motion. Mr. Speaker, revenue measures generally are not very popular with citizens, and especially when they come at hard times, they are not popular with citizens. Mr. Speaker, we are at a time when it remains a fact that the entire world is going through a tough time and Ghana is experiencing sin. And if at this time we are asked to contribute as part of our responsibility to resolve the difficulties, it is only understandable that it will not find favor with some sections of the population. But Mr. Speaker, at the same time, we also have to remind ourselves that the Ghanaian believes in the principle of self-determination. If you ask the Ghanaian whether we should borrow our way out of our problems or contribute a little bit more out of our problems, the average Ghanaian, I believe, would say, let us share the responsibility to get out of our problems. The Speaker, traditionally in our communities, and I believe for many of my colleagues who are here, in our very local communities, in our villages, the principle of self-responsibility, the principle of self-determination always plays out. We have what we do that we call Amenyuma or Kwasapujuma in the Akan areas. In the Dagomba areas, I'm told they call it Karba. In the Volta region, they call it Duduowo. It is the spirit, the culture of working together to resolve basic challenges around us, despite whatever state in which we find ourselves. Mr. Speaker, I want to end my contribution by just responding to a few issues that have come up in the national conversation. One is the supposition that the electronic transactions levy will lead to double taxation. Because if I finish paying my taxes on my income, why do I have to pay any further tax when I transfer that same money to somebody else? Mr. Speaker, in the same way, when I finish paying taxes on my income and I buy any other good that has value-added tax on it, the fact that I will pay taxes on that good or service does not mean that I'm being subjected to double taxation. Mr. Speaker, another argument has been made that it amounts to taxing savings or capital in people's wallets. We want to say for a fact that that is not true. Balances on wallets will not be subjected to this levy. The Speaker, there's a claim that has been made that it will kill the Momo industry, so don't tax Momo. This same claim was made when the communication service tax was being introduced. It has never killed the industry. In fact, the industry has grown in bounds, and so it will not kill the industry. The Speaker, Finally, finally, the poor have been taken out of it with a threshold implemented so that those who transfer less than 100 Ghana cities a day will not pay this levy. Mr. Speaker, I want to conclude by asking my colleagues here to support this levy because we Ghanaians believe in the principle of self-determination, the principle of self-responsibility. I thank you for the opportunity to speak.